Hey, this is Tilak. Welcome back to another tutorial of compensation. Today we are going to look at the fast formula type card person selection. Last time we saw that uh, the eligibility fast formula. Today we are going to look at person selection fast formula. This is again a common fast formula within compensation product. This formula is used by most of the ESS processes as a parameter to restrict the selection of the population. Either it could be a person selection, I mean, either you restrict a person or you restrict a assignment. Okay. In TCS, this used to restrict the people because TCS total compensation statement works on the person basis, not the assignment basis. So this helps to restrict the, the person who can be processed in that statement. Okay. Now we are going to look at the context. This is the very common context. As I said, I'm not going to get into the detail. Even in the first introduction of the compensation, we explained everything. The same thing works here. So this is probably I'm going to show this again and again in every fast formula type, but I'm not going to explain to that, explain the details. Okay. Now we'll get into the input values. It supports, okay, before we get into the input values, the whatever I'm showing is the information I have it. There may be more or there could be less, I don't know. That you have to make sure you check with your document and you check with that the product supports. Okay, but this is kind of a take it as a guideline rather than the source of truth. So make sure you are like you know you can you can form with that product document okay what we have input value here is a period start date that's a date period end date that's a date again the statement id period id that is that uh, goes as a character and the statement name and the period name these are the input values supported by this uh, formula Okay. What's the output value? Okay. It doesn't care what variable you are returning yet. This formula type does not care. You can put it in a return value, anything, like output, anything. It doesn't care about the value, but it cares more about the value. It doesn't care about the variable name. It cares about the value. The value could be either Y or N. Y for like, you know, making the person uh, go through. I mean, the person is selected. N for like, you know, ignoring the person in this case. That is what happening here. Okay. What kind of formula we are going to look at that? Again, this type of formula, we looked at too many cases in that uh, introduction uh, session series. So again, I'm not going to get into the too much of detail of explaining everything. Probably I go through the code rather than, most of the time I write the formula uh, in the um, tutorial, but this time I'll just walk through, I'm not going to write it. The reason is the same formula we looked at that, uh, that uh, first formula part two, that tutorial number eight, we looked at that. So if you want to have a detail of what I'm doing there, please go and check that like tutorial. The link is here. Probably I'll give the link in the uh, the term, like, what is it called? Uh, the description too. So go and check it. This time I'll go walk through the formula and I also say how it is executed, how it's attached and everything. I'll show it, but I'm not going to write it. Okay, what we are going to do this formula, we are going to select the person who is female and the age is 50 or more and having a one or more year experience in the organization. That is what, 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 what that's what we are going to look at. Okay, let's get into that formula. We are now at compensation module. 
at the end of the compensation module, you can navigate to fast formula. Or you can do it through, I think you can do it through benefit, and obviously you can do it from uh, payroll, because it's a payroll product. Well, I'm going to uh, fast formula. Okay, I'm looking for TCS. Okay, in case if you created a fast formula for a legislative data group, you have to give a legislative data group. Okay, in the legislative data group, if you don't give it, it only uh, search the fast formula that does not have a legislative data group. That is how it works. I'm looking for a TCS formula. There is something called TCS person selection. I'm going for that. Uh, this is already developed the formula, so I'm just going to walk through the formula. It is in a compiled status, right status. Okay, whatever the formula is. Let me see if I can increase the font. Okay, well, that you have better look. Okay. Okay, I as I said, like you know, we are going to validate the gender, age, and the higher date. Uh, I'm also using that uh, the start date, which is a date, and uh, period end date, end date, and the period ID in the statement ID. Though I'm not going to use this um, input values, just I'm like you know, it is given just for the understanding purpose uh, the lock is created so the person when the person is entering it i always say use as much as possible locks when you are developing a fast formula once you are compatible with the formula or once you validate the formula you can either comment out or you can remove it but make sure when you are developing a fast formula write as much as lock possible okay and we got a person context ID and the effective date and that start date. Now all that whatever I got the variable which is basically again I'm putting that into the log. We have the gender. You can use that for like you know DBA directly is my habit. I'm putting them into the variable. I use the variable but it is not necessary. You can use the DBA directly and age is coming here okay months between so basically from the higher date to that the L date what is L date L date is uh, the effective date the effective date and the higher date that's the basically the difference of that date I'm taking it and I am also writing all this gender age higher date and everything is again getting to log if the context is set effective date then uh, okay this is the the previous formula we don't need to do that and the formula probably like you know was showing how do you test it but in this case we know that that by default that effective date is the what is uh, like you know set as a context so you don't have to do that that is fine that is basically probably i was trying to show it how you validate that then I'm writing to the effective date is context is set. Period start date was not defaulted. That is also, you don't need that. And uh, start date is not defaulted. Start date, defaulting it. Okay, basically what it is doing here is uh, if the L start date is not equal to L date, then that basically that. It is setting the context as of start date of that period. I mean, the statement period is setting it. Then it is taking L day, L age, it is calculating L age, and again it is doing here is that is fine. The gender is validated. The age is greater than uh, thirty. Basically, the age is coming as of start date. Okay, and that. Uh, the number of month is greater than 12 because it is experience month. If it is that, it is doing a return value Y. Okay. In this case, I mean, I'm going back to that. Basically, that this is the we are setting the con. We are checking if the context is set. That is definitely it is set. Even if you don't check it, that is what it is. And then what it is doing here is validating whether the start date and the effective date is the same. The period start date and effective date is the same. If it is not that, 
the basically it is changing the context then taking the age again that is what it is doing here in a simple case you don't need to do that <coughs> if you are working a, a software effective date that is fine you can you don't need that whatever you are having in the above itself is taken care of. you can ignore this part okay that's the fast formula and it is in a compiled status so i'm not going to touch that i'm coming out of it i'm going to execute the fast formula now okay how i execute the fast formula i go to the total composition st statement uh, module i mean area i'm going for a generate statement either you even also you can do that through that statement definitions i'm choosing that uh, the first formula which is i think job statement there's a only one period so it comes by default i'm going to give a person selection first formula that is a tcs person selection okay I'm, i can have this one okay in this case i even if you don't have it, it's going to work because uh, the uh, log whether it's not dependent on this uh, flag. Submitted, okay, it goes there. Available in uh, compensation monitor page. So I'm moving to ESS lock monitor page. Now I'm going to flag. The process is completed. We are looking at the lock. Okay, we are looking at the lock. Now it is getting into the formula. It is printing the person ID, the date, the start date. And uh, <coughs> this effective date and the gender. gender is because it's giving a default, this no gender is defined with like L gender is always comes as X. Okay, so now what is happening here is. Uh, this is effective date is context is setting it to default and there is not selecting person is not it is retaining now now let's see what is, is there anything it is written as yes. why okay yeah No, it is it is filtering it I want to okay we will do one thing we will do so we do go to the search okay now this is returning now we'll go to that <coughs> first section is returning okay now it is uh, leaving your first formula eligibility is this because the eligibility is there now it is electing your part like getting into fast formula the gender is here the age is 41 16 pages the entire date example is there effective date again setting a context the start date is not defaulted so basically start date is coming the age is 40 40 97 so probably it is working and return year election so it is working fine that's all for the day uh, if you have any question or any comment let me know okay i'll see you next time with one more formula tutorial thank you and that uh, formula that code everything will be given in the description you can have a look thank you bye